Hey, sorry for interrupting. This is Perry Kurtz, and I just want to tell you, I've got a new podcast. I know you're saying, oh, great, another one. Well, this one's different. It's called Happy News with Perry Kurtz. Happy news, good stuff, things to make you feel good about life. We're going to be talking to famous and infamous people that are friends of mine and discussing the happy news. You can listen to us on iTunes, Stitcher, CastBox, and wherever you listen to your podcast, as well as watching us on Binge on This on YouTube. Welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other, where we blow your mind with facts, fiction, and fantasy. Tell them, bro. That was Triple good. F's. I like that. As My always, I am your friendly neighborhood co host, Brian. And I am Sam. Ooh, we have a He's whole. He's just friendly. I'm a guy. I'm a guy, and I'm, I guess I'm friendly, but in the, not, in, the not, in the not so me too way. the neighborhood watch. In the not me too way. He's not supposed to be here. They call me Gruff. As always, if this is your first time listening to us, thank you so much for taking the time to download us either from iTunes, Stitcher, Catcher. I'm sorry, Stitcher, Castbox, <laughs> Pitcher, Catcher, Grinder. Uh, yeah, uh, wherever you find us, even from our website. That's right, we have a website. That's that's we up. do have a website, huh? We do you can download we had everything? Two at you one can point, contest. Uh, uh, you can contact us through there. We have contests too. <laughs> All of our links are available. YouTube. Uh, Spotify, all the videos, everything, it's all right there in the, in the, in, and we'll put that right in the details. I was about to read it out, but there's no point. In the, in the details? Um, to everybody who is watching us for a third time. A third time? Go outside, check your trunk, we left oh. a little gift for ya. If oh. this is your sixth time, though, we do appreciate you taking the time to listen to us. If you're on your way to work, just remember. <laughs> just quit. Just quit. <laughs> it's not worth it. You know why? It's an internet age. You could start a podcast. Why do I do this? The money. Oh, you can, yeah. You <laughs> That's can, how you get those glasses there. You can, too. Uh, I know. That's <laughs> why my gold-plated glasses are plastic. Uh, all right. Let's uh, get into it. Perfect hour. How was your week? Week was all right, man. My neck is back to normal, finally, after a fucking two-week period. Getting those sweet gains? Uh, yeah, back at the gym, yeah. So, happy there. Um, we hit an old script. Touched it up, driving Mussolini is what Classic it was called. Bit. I love it, love it. It's a good one. I'm happy with it. I pat myself on the back every time I read it. Um, and finished up three, but I'm uh, man, I'm working on like three scripts at this point. Yeah, but I'm happy with the new one I'm working on. Good. Yeah, it's the new tattoo Woody Allen script of mine. So I'm, I don't know. It's it's, it's a departure. It's a departure. But other than that, my week has been good. Do you have a good Woody Allen impression? Because technically you like can't I gotta, do it. Uh, um, I have to, um, no, I don't. I was like thinking Woody Allen, but it's making me just stutter in my brain. I'm like, you well, I, just, I, I don't know, because if I, if I have to find a way to be able to get out there to see it, then m- maybe I'm never going to find a way to be able to come back. I live in the Upper East, east Side. <laughs> <laughs> upper East Side. Upper, upper East Side. Yo, have you ever heard of a dude called, uh, sp- not the, from your week, uh, Spalding Gray? Why, why is that familiar? So, like, he's a monologuist. He used to do monologues in the theater and shit. There was, like, one called Swimming in Cambodia or some shit, and then okay. they made movies into it, like, his monologues in the movies. But he used to sit on, on the theater, and he would have, like, a table or some shit, and then just launch into, like, a 30-minute, 45-minute just... Rant? Story. No, like, it was a monologue. Like, like uh, he would be like... He'd be like... Uh, and, uh... And I was on this uh, uh, on the beach, and I would look out into the waves, and I would see them crashing back and forth and back and forth, like the eternal beating inside of my heart. And I would stare up into the sky, and it was yeah, just, it's just nonstop. Yeah, so just it's like, a, but I, it was good. Mm. Not just I watched the dude, the guy who played Moriarty in uh, Sherlock Holmes. Uh, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. He had a really good one that I watched. That I was like, oh shit, that's it's almost too much. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. Yeah, like it's a lot. You're like, wait, what? You have to be like theatrically <laughs> loving to yeah. be like, oh no, right? That just the corner mouth stuff. But anyways, oh, what for else I about was just doing week? it for me because I had coffee all over. Um, dude, this week has been kind of hectic, kind yeah. So, who knows, man? I don't know. I gotta help some. I gotta help my girlfriend's sister move tomorrow. So, yep. not happy about that. But I gotta go fucking part of it. drive a big fifteen. Yard, foot, whatever the fuck, 
U-Haul around and pick up a couch and a fridge and sick. So I'm not happy about Sounds that. Sounds boring. So today I, I I took the day off from the gym with not feeling guilty whatsoever because I was like, it's gonna suck tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. gonna suck. Well, uh. At least your neck's not hurting, so now you can lift all the li- the big stuff. Oh yeah, just in time. yeah, I got j- well enough so I can help someone fucking move and probably fuck fuck it up again. It must have been love. Yeah. So all right, well that's good, man. Now yeah, give yourself I mean, a round of applause. I mean, for sh- helping uh, out your girlfriend yeah. and her s- her sis. Oh, well you pussy. Oh, well, for those who can't see, you didn't even try. Didn't even try. They, well, <laughs> that's how I feel about my week. Mm. All right. Well, good. I'm glad your neck's good. Glad the scripts are running running hot. Yeah, I mean, really, how, how, should I complain? Sh- no, should I no complain? It's not Rand Corner yet. Yeah. All right. Uh, for me, everything's going good. I'm getting these sick gains in the gym, bro. No, I'm just kidding. I'm in there good every week, uh, every day. Just because you're watching Arnold videos. Six, seven in the morning, you know, getting in the hour and a half. The weights are going up, you know, was in there with just the bar. You know that first the, the, the and now holding your holding pounds. your penis is not <laughs> <laughs> yeah my bar, uh but now I'm up getting closer to the 45s you know just nice working my way back to normal kind of weights. There was a dude the other day, uh, he had four 45s on there, and bench yeah, oh yeah two on each side. The dudes no four, okay, and uh, the dude. Like the dude, there people, the people in Santa Monica lift, bro. Yeah. Like they fuck their gains, they're swole motherfuckers into that bitch. Like, but he was there. And, <laughs> Deca. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> trampoline. And it's just, you know. Um. But I, I saw him, and I foolishly, with my twenty fives in hand, sat down, and then looked behind me and go, "You good? You need a spotter?" <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> Like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I could scream for help. Help! <laughs> help! He's dead. Ah! No, you could pull one do? side up if you're, could, right. yeah, bro, with your balls that. in his I'm face. Like, You'd have to step that. in to pull up. Well, I mean, he would he would be like that, and I would be on. I could do it. I'm not a punk, but, like, I can't. <laughs> I can't You, you, would, you would think of him as, like, your baby child underneath the car. Yeah. Like, he's, not, he's not getting a last minute. It usually hits their chest, though. You know. Oh, he did it. Perfectly, so yeah. He had, yeah, yeah. He, he, he would have tilted it. He was like, he he didn't. He wasn't mocking. I, it's a cool gym. He just, he I, I like the like, twenty four. He just, he was like, but he was like, no, it's it's good, man. Like he was like, I appreciate it though, and I was like, I was yeah, like, that's sure. why I, I would do, rather check than. I, I don't even know my own how how much I can go because I'm never with anybody, and I don't want to care. I know. Andy had the res- he Andy had the band yeah, around but did, his did, arms did he, too. Yeah, you know, I guess there's no no excuse because I have the guards on the side. So I'm like, not saying do that. Right. The young man. I'm just saying like the young gentleman yeah. was a young gentleman in in good health. Yeah. You know, he like, knew what he was doing. He didn't hurt his neck yeah. <laughs> on the red eye <laughs> coming back from Pittsburgh. <laughs> the young man. The African American gentleman was of. Oh, why did you have to bring his race into this now? He was of good stock. <laughs> oh, so now he's gonna plow something for he you? He was. He was good field man. Oh God. <laughs> um, but no, that was pretty ballsy. But I, that made me laugh. As for, not ballsy, but I mean, it just goes to show you. So well, after he did that, I was like, "Yeah, motherfucker," and then I went. Then you got all pumped up. Picked up some thirty. Fucking listen to like, some Metallica. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but you know I'm getting and then, there. And then you popped a hernia. It's good to get back. You fucking bl- blew out your o hole. I just want to get back to where I was in Arizona, because in Arizona, like I w- I I warm up with 45s. I was happy where I was at in yeah. Arizona, because the gym was in the back and it was just easy work out in the back. Like and it was just yeah. you're just there. So, but that's it. You warm up with 45s. You shouldn't even be doing that. Plain not little, warming up. Well, well as, as far <laughs> as like like. You know, like not being where you the start, where, where, you, where your bases, your bases, kind yeah. of, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, that's where, dude, I, I stay at 45s all the time. That's why I, I, I can do more, but I stay at 45s, dude. I'll do 15 reps, yeah. See, that's you know, what I'm saying. I'll do the reps, I'd rather do the reps than real heavy because then, dude, sometimes I'll get up and be like, my shoulder, fuck that, bro. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff says, Jeff says, leave your ego out the door, homie. Oh, dude, get the reps going lower or weights. That's why. I, when I do the 25s, I'm like, cool. I don't yeah. care. Like, I can sit there and do the, con- you know, everything I need to. Yeah. He has that sick new Athlean X. 
Sponsored by Athlean X. I'm just oh, kidding, God. bro. Dude, uh, but do you see the people who pick up something that they obviously should, obviously should not be picking up, and then they just kind of like, they, they use the momentum? Yeah, and they're not like, really doing it. Dude, you're just fucking up your joints at that point. Yeah. You, you might be working your grip. <laughs> That's about it. They just want those calluses. They just want to look down at the calluses. Dude, if you want calluses, fuck, just... Yeah. Uh, that's easy. Anyways, you just put so the that work in. That happens right there for my week. Give me some applause, homie. Some congratulations, guys. You did a good job. Oh, uh, yeah. No, that's that's about that's it. That's it. I was yeah. I was uh, I was thinking if there was anything. No, I'm almost done with these reels. I'm giving you a soccer stadium right now. The computer almost died. Oh yeah, the computer did almost uh, die. That's it. Let's get into ramp corner. Ramp corner. Here we go. Woohoo! All, All right. <laughs> now, last week, guys, I, I came at you pretty hard, okay? Came at you guys pretty hard. All right, hold on. We just did this beat. I went what? back, and I, I listened to the audio, guys. And I Oh, you got mad at them. And I was mad. You were mad. Okay. Been listening to a lot of Ron Burgundy, all right? R- well, Ron, Ron Burgundy, Burgundy put the time in. Ron He's Burgundy. a legend. There's one thing old San Diego legend Ron Burgundy has taught me. Is oh, what's that? Speaking in a deep. Baritone <laughs> voice and commanding a presence of the microphone would only adjust the class of the show. Half of it's the mustache. Half of it is the mustache. It's but like I, it, it's like resonates. It like the the, the voice res. You know how they say like Freddie Mercury, his voice was so great because his teeth were so jacked and so big. Lies. It's the voice resonating. Do they really say that? No, for singers. Yeah, that's why. That's why. No, uh, do they really say that Freddie's teeth were big and that's why his voice was loud? Well, it does. If if someone has a very good singing voice, you usually can tell like by because their, they have big teeth. No, by their jaw structure, something, something, okay. whatever sound they're making. There's usually like if you look at Keith Richards, uh-huh. you know, or if big you look teeth. at actual singers like Eric, you know, what's Mariah Carey. They have. They usually they use their teeth. So you look at Frank Sinatra. He's smiling the whole time he's singing. Yeah, yeah that's that's a, that's a type of crooning. They they smile. Yeah, this is a, you know like. Doing that shit, and it helps with the resonation. Trust me. Oh, I, man. Yeah, we'd um, have to get a per- Berkeley trained. Uh, she's teaching someone right now. <laughs> master to, <laughs> to, to confirm. <laughs> but that's cool. I didn't know yeah, that. So, I guess that makes sense. So I feel like Ron Burgundy's sultry man baritone voice is only accentuated by that big giant mustache. All those fibers help. It, boop, 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 and then it. Yeah. What were we talking about? I don't know. Ron Burgundy's voice? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. I was saying uh, for a rant corner. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry. I, well, my rant is that I mistreated y'all. I am not apologizing because we don't want to apologize on this show. We don't? No, we. I thought we had no ego on this show, though. Exactly. Well, but that doesn't mean you, you, gotta you have to apologize. Well, no, you got to. You, I own well, it. You are owning it. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm owning what I said to you guys. And you guys came out in numbers. You guys you guys showed up. It's a hot, hot downloads going right now. Big numbers, not only for our episode, but for Perry's episode. Our BOGOs, mm. our buy one, get ones, is what we're calling those. Where are we buying? An, an extra episode. Who's buying the episode? Man, he doesn't. You don't check any of the of the stuff on the iTunes or anything. Sometimes. Dude. Yeah. So Perry. I didn't, I didn't watch the last one. Perry's episode is called a Bogo. Oh a yeah. Buy one get one. Oh no, I don't. I don't look at. I don't. What are you doing with the quarter? Are you? Yeah. Are you? It's better than chewing my nails. You're, you're playing with like. I what? would if I had some of those. <laughs> yeah. It's it's called a Bogo. So Perry's okay. episode is is a Bogo. Buy one get one. So okay. That's a free extra, just random. Interview that that we I just had. got confused because I was like, "Are we buying, people are buying stuff? They're buying us as people." Yeah, but what are they and buying? And they're buying it pretty hot, and uh, like hotcakes, like hotcakes. And so, just looking at these numbers, I want to say you made them feel better. You guys made me feel better. I hope I lit a little passion under your hearts, and I just want to say thank you. So it's this is not really a rant; it's more of a congratulations. Thank, uh, uh, thanks. And, own, o- thank, and owning up a and a thank, thank you, you corner. Let's do a thank you corner instead of a rant. Don't we think? Well, nah, fuck y'all. We what? thank a lot of people all the time. Yeah, don't we? we do thank a lot of people. No. There. I said what I said. Good job, guys. Everybody showed up. Keep showing up. We got more episodes coming out. Uh, we got more stuff on YouTube coming out. Just keep on doing it. Keep on subscribing. Duh. Maybe some reviews on iTunes. I don't want to be a baby about it. but All right. Do you have anything to rant about? Yeah, this week I had an extra hard time with people. 
um, the clusterfuck of people out here. Uh, I mean, even just going to the gym, I'm right down the street, and it's probably like 7.30 in the morning, 7 in the morning, and it's just... Why don't you just run there? Fire trucks. I don't know. I do. I use the bike because you know how, how my fucking back. You know how feet, my back and my knees are. Yeah, my feet. I can't. I can't run long distances. I can sprint pretty fast, but that's why I do all bike and, and elliptical because, uh, well, I need to go to a, a foot doctor. But anyway, yeah, dude. Just the amount of people going to work, coming from work, being stuck in the canyon roads, the people walking in. Just it, this city can be a lot sometimes, man. 40 million people, man. Yeah, the city can be, This this last week I felt that I was I yeah. wasn't I wasn't too stoked yesterday for being out and about. I didn't want to go anywhere and then Jane was like, "We got to go to Costco." And I was like, "Fuck." Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I was like just staring at people like they would get too close. I'm like, "Get the fuck away from me, man. Fuck off. Fuck off." Yeah, yeah. Don't walk up next to me. Yeah. Like stay I'm standing over just here. Give me a little space. Yeah, I, I I could smell you. Yeah. You know, when you're that close and I could smell you and you're not stinky, that's yeah. not good. Yeah. Anyway, so that's my rant. Nice. I like that. I, I was, I, I'm pulling it back a little bit. I don't want to go too too far off. No, we're, yeah. we're in it. If it's a rant, it'll come back. Yeah. Rants are like herpes. They never go away. You know? Yeah, they I know. They just go buried deeper into God your damn DNA. Uh, my only one is probably just a rant that has occurred on this show multiple and many times. Please control your fucking dogs at the dog park. Control your dogs oh. at the dog park. Oh, yeah. Control the, your dogs at the dog park. Yeah, th- there was a fight uh, this week when I took Mina. To, but she was luckily next to me, and I just grabbed her because she wanted to run over there. Your dogs. It hit me. Maybe a different beat, but you hit went. me with it. Control your dogs. Guys, please. Please, please, please. You have to understand. Yeah, their tails are wagging. Yeah, they're smelling each other's ass, and it looks like they're having a good time. But if they've been growling at each other and playfuling each other and snapping and the, and, the and you, can you can hear escalate. it, you can feel it, you can hear it. Stop your dog, please stop your dog. Before it, it, it should not be my job as the victim to to of my dog who who is clearly being a, like bothered. back up, back up, yeah, and he's now snipping back. It. Why is it my job to come to you yeah. and say control your dog? I, I mean, I would do the same thing, I guess, with a child. But yeah. I mean, at the same time, like. But the problem is, I think, is that you're. I get nasty really quick. I. I you don't get, say. I get nasty. Yeah. Uh, uh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> your no, I get nasty really quick. I just put my hand up, going, get your dog, get your dog. Like I get real loud. How many? Point. How long do you wait though? Till Mina yelps, and I can tell it's like it's done, and no one's done anything. If I can tell, like. Like, first of all, the second time a dog's doing... Mina walks away quickly, and so this, the So, look, if the dog keeps pushing and running after... I go, her, hey, hey, like, hey, back, yeah. back. I get... I, I start disciplining the dog so the person has to come. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm disciplining their dog. See, I don't know. I grab their dog. Wait, hey, 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 hey. And then if they come up, going, hey, get your fucking yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, take See, your dog. I mean, I, that's, I'm, I, that's the part that I don't feel like we, we need to do. I, I don't want to wait till something happens to I her. feel you, for sure. Yeah. I feel you. I feel like, but I... I because it's I, been a couple times where I go, I, you know, use the, the bass, you know, where you go, hey. Yeah. And, and everyone's looking, and you're just like, what the fuck? No, no, no. And they run over, oh, wait, excuse me, you know, and they grab the yeah. dog. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to do that. That's I do what it. I mean. But you, then you wait for something to happen, and then you well, cause that, I, then you I just keep them. playing a fine line, like, and maybe that's the problem, because I'll sit there on the bench, just reading, doing emails or whatever, checking on the numbers and yeah. all that, and then... You know, there'll be a dog pushing Khalees, you know, and, and you know, he'll, he'll, he'll be like, rrr, rrr. and I'm like, okay, like, fine, maybe they're playing because he does that sometimes. And then I just keep hearing it and hearing it. And yeah. finally, I hear his bass get deeper and deeper. And that's when I'm like, okay, can, like, other person, you have to, yeah. like, you have but to see as you, this. Uh, all right. As it's starting and going and happening, that's when you should look up and go, hey, uh, get your dog up. Guy. Yeah, I guess I have to. Yeah. Got to discipline the person. Then otherwise, they're not going to discipline the dog. Well, no, because now the guy feels like a piece of shit for, having, yeah. for you having to do that to his dog. Yeah. It's a little different, I guess, when you have kids. I can't imagine. But I guess if someone was disciplining my kid, you know how they say, like, don't say anything to anyone's kid. That's like the rule. Well, it takes of law. a village. You know? I say it takes a village, but nowadays it seems like you can't say anything to anyone's kid, or else the mom runs up and gets mad at you, no matter what the kid did. Duke, Duke's up. You know. 
Hey, you, but you got hands? Do you have hands? <laughs> you got that's hands, all you lady? ask her. You're just like, you do you have hands? You knock her out in front of that son of her. I'm here for my Popeye and chicken sandwich. And then you look sandwich. at him and go, that's, that's, <laughs> that's how it is. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Popeye's, bitch. Um, it's just the humping dogs, if I want to be honest about it. What? When, when you're letting your dog hump my dog, and my dog is obviously uncomfortable and keeps on yelping, like, I shouldn't have to... And then they come over and they're like, oh, they're just, they're just playing. They're just goofing around. Yeah, and that's when you should be like, that's when you should be like, he's getting mad. It's, it, yeah. yeah. I guess I got just, I don't want to be more aggressive. No. I'm trying you to just, scale back you, on the aggressiveness of my yeah, life. Yeah, or she says that and you're like, I, yeah, I know, but like now it's becoming a problem. Yeah. Boom. I tell you, people at the dog park, but hey, maybe I'm the guy at the dog park. Maybe I just got to start being that guy at the dog park. I don't. Park, you know? I look like don't talk to me at the dog park. That's what I do. When the, well, it's early in the morning when I go, so yeah. for the most part, I, I don't talk to me. I got my sunglasses on, my phone's on my face. Every once in a while, I take a picture of Mina. That's about it. But don't like, don't come up to me. Don't kidding. ask me about my dog. Is she cute? Yeah, I'll just go like, yeah, she's you know, best person, and I yeah. keep walking. I'm always like kind of on the perimeter, walking, like staying away from people. Yeah. But well, the dog park has become more like the gym for me. There's certain yeah. people at certain times that know each other and every now and yeah. then, you know. But, no, for the most part, I'm just kind of like he just goes off and he does his thing. And then – but it's some dogs, bro. And then they're playing around and you're just like control your dog. Like yeah. like dogs who like splash in the water bowl. Oh, I hate do that. that. Yeah. Oh, you, you, you let him do that at home? Like you do that? Yeah, whatever. Maybe I'm just – yeah, whatever. Enough of Rant Corner. That's the end of Rant Corner. Uh – or pick up your dog shit too. I, I stepped in dog shit last time I was there. Yeah, that's kind of tough too. That's that's a tough one, too. especially you because you have a backyard, but she doesn't like to use the no. The she stuff. Uses the front. All right, that's the end of boring dog corner. Uh, this is this is yeah. Just uh, if if you cannot uh, correlate your life with our dog corner, think about your kids, and it's the same thing. Yeah, man. Pick up your kids' shit. Anyways, <laughs> let's get into current events theme. How does the circle go? Uh, we had a red corner. It's been so long. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess it's a theme well, now. Yeah, it's a theme. What's our we theme? We can plug. Oh, let's do a quick, uh, quick plug for the Tree Network. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the Tree Network of Des Moines, Iowa. If you are in need of a professional arborist, and yes, that's a real word, trademarked by this, that, and the other, trademarked by Binge on this network. If you need a professional arborist. And wizard. That's right. A wizard at lumber manipulation. Look up the tree. Na- lumber n- manipulation. Do you like that? That's another That's word. That's a hard word. Mark. Lumber, lumber manipulation. Lumber manipulation. Uh, look lumber up the tree network on Instagram. Proud sponsor of this, that, and the other. And binge on this network. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, we are in current events, I believe. Yeah, we had a theme, I guess. But, what uh, was the theme? I don't know. I usually have something to save here. Uh, it might be one of those shows. But there is one thing that everybody's talking about, which I'm sure everybody's going to be over by the time they hear this. Uh, 9-11. I'm just kidding. That Popeye's chicken sandwich, man. It's big talk. Who knows if it's still going out by the time this goes out. But I find it amazing, amazing, that Popeye could have made a chicken sandwich this good and it took him this long to do it. You know? For me, the big seller for Popeye's, has always been the shrimp, you know? Maybe not a po' boy necessarily, but a good old-fashioned shrimp fry, you know? Some chips, this is what the British call them. Yeah. You know, a little slice of lemon, maybe a little garnish on there. Shrimp! A the sea mint jelly. cockroach. Yeah. Born 10 billion years ago, created by Aphrodite in a fit of rage. Crazy, crazy stuff. Well, Aphrodite had crabs, and that's what it was. What do you have on the current <laughs> events of things? I don't know. I was just looking this up. Uh, well, I think I of did, a theme. I, I remember Mythbusters. Yeah, of course I do. Y- They've busted many a myth. Um, yeah, Jesse Combs of Mythbusters dies in a jet car crash attempting a speed record in Oregon. Shut up. Jesse, which one's Jesse? Show me she, a picture. It's not It's not the red hair. Oh, my God. I was, yeah. My heart was about to drop. Yeah, no, it's this. She was a, <gasps> She's a professional race. How old is she? Race car driver and was on Mythbusters as one of the hosts. Uh, I don't know, man. She looks pretty that young. That breaks my heart, man. She was doing 512 miles an hour. Damn, I bet that shit felt fire, though, before she went. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she was, like, like 200 miles in. You're like, yeah, this is good. Like, you know, and then you hit 400 and your internal and organs also. are, like, shaking. And everything's 
going and then that would be the quickest <laughs> oh yeah that's what I mean like I'm not even fearful for her because I know baby girl went out like a fucking diamond like she, she was just she saw the white light going and then she was like yeah this, this is it do you think she? Do you think she came? I would have. I hope so. <laughs> I hope, and I'll be honest. I hope I'm that lucky to at the very end just be like, surrounded by all my family and friends. <laughs> old man, did boner. he just come? <laughs> yeah. like, like people holding my hands, and I'm just like, <laughs> people are just like. You just see your your crotch get a little. Just like a little. <laughs> Grandkids, everybody <laughs> surrounding me, just like what the, what the fuck? Yeah. And then you fart and shit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, just really, just really make everything disgusting. Anyway, um, so yeah, she died. Crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, government in the UK is. I don't uh, even fuck, man. I I don't even want to look at my. Oh, I'm my not ear. about the government, man. But I think it's cool that the queen was like, no, and was she's like, she's got to put her foot down sometimes. She's got to remind them people. who the fucking queen but is. We're still a monarchy. Yeah, she looked at them guys and was like, no, guys. Oh dear, no. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, you're not leaving the house yeah. like that, dear. Yeah. Clean yourself up. The queen yeah. doesn't sound. Comb like your that. fucking hair, dude. Yeah, get your shit together, Bruno. Uh, Bruno Mars. Principal who banned books in classroom was arrested for child pornography recently. He probably lost some of the photographs in one of the textbooks and was like, ban all the yeah, books. Get rid of all the books. <laughs> Don't open any of them. <laughs> Drop them off at my room. I will take care of them personally. Yeah, that's kind of shitty, though. I mean, not that he got good that he got caught because you're one step away from. Yeah, but there's still there's a lot of people out there doing it. I mean, yeah. Did you see that Trump? I don't know if this was a joke. I don't know what's going on anymore. But uh, did he say that we should drop a may possibly a nuclear bomb in front of the hurricane to stop it? No, that's a joke. That's that w- a joke. Because yeah. it was on. It was on fucking on what on, on news on the news is who knows what the news is anymore. Uh, but I do know one thing is my guy. The uh, well, I just don't want to bring more attention. Not and again, I'm not politically activated. That's why we have a brand new show coming to the network called What's Hood with FC. What's Political hood? activist out of Arizona who's going to be talking to our, our community a little bit more about not only uh, the political climate that we currently exist in, but also bring a little bit of Hispanic culture back into the show. Oh, yeah? You know, it's something we've been lacking, Sam, and that's my theme for the show. That's right. I brought it home. I got a theme. Uh, Hit me with it. So wait. So basically, you're saying you're too white? Maybe. I don't know. It depends on what my <laughs> depends on what rapping my rapping soul says. I figured out the theme, man. And Bring the urban back. Today's theme is culture. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. What? <laughs> that was my Tyler the Creator type song. Now I'm moving through the jungle with a trap. Got the cockroach back crawling through my mouth. That's the culture. Eating a baby's diaper filled with Snickers. Microwave for 30 seconds with the rest of my N words. <laughs> you thought I was gonna drop the N word, but I won't because it's a clean rap. This is a kid's show. That's why I rap about reading and eating your vegetables. Uh. But culture is the name of the game, guys. Let's talk about culture. Culture! What do you know about your culture? What is your background, Sam? Uh, oh, yeah. I had, we, we had slaves. Mm-mm. <laughs> Wrong. I'm, t- I, okay. Uh, I'm just talking about, uh, you're a French guy, right? You're 100% French or you got a little Jew in you, right? Yes, so uh, should I tell people? Oh, I don't know. You don't have to. I'm just should saying. I tell people? I'm, I'm just I'm part saying. of the Illuminati. Yeah. Um. No. So yeah, Dad was Italian, uh, Italian Lithuanian. Mom was full French, but Mom was a Rothschild. Yeah, she was. So, so, th- so I have secret su- blood money. So I, I could kind of go back pretty far with some of the on that lineage and we, we were all bankers and Hell so yeah. my culture was basically on that side a little higher up on the italian side i guess they had money before and then mussolini came in and took everything mussolini and uh, so my culture is venture of is the muscle probably mm. middle to upper class european 
guess that's pretty solid man you recently came back from a sad uh event in pittsburgh did you experience any culture while you were out there oh yeah what yeah. did was there anything funeral right wise that pertain to that it was ca- it was real catholic super catholic it was super catholic yeah yeah super like you know like we weren't in a church <coughs> but we were in a cemetery there was st- big statues with wings so primarily it, it was really pretty that was really pretty because like where we were at it was um uh what do you call that where you stack the bodies like a catacomb or whatever yeah, yeah. like it's kind of it was kind of like that Outdoors, Green Hill. And they just put her in there with the rest of the. Well, there was there, there's family. I have I have a, I have a family thing. You in have there. a plot there? I don't. My dad. It stops at my dad. Like so, it was like my grandparents, uh, my uncle, then my aunt, my, the, my dad. And let's go. Oh yeah, we got we we got let's ads. Go. This yeah, is no a real you, part of a real ad. Actually, let's uh, break for this ad. What? And we're back. That's where I'll put I'm it. Like, what? Let's put <laughs> in the new commercials. <laughs> oh, that reminds me too. We actually have to record promos today. Uh, well, I, I don't have much time for us. So because huh? I got class in an hour. <laughs> Why did we do at three then? I thought I was going to be able to do whatever. Because I, uh, mean, I, 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 yeah, we'll figure it out. Later. Okay. Um, shit. Because we were only supposed to do this, and then I had class. And then you had to edit the rest of the day. Oh, me sit here and do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna. Okay. Whatever. Anyways, you're right. What? Uh, so, uh, so we're back. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? Well, fuck, bro. Seriously, I remembered it and then it look, man. Slipped. What do you think? Uh, uh, all right. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna get a little real. No, go I little. had a point. I had a point. Ah! I had a point before we go uh, to the next subject. What uh, did oh, I ask oh, you Oh, lineage. About? Rothschild. Lineage. Yes. Thank you. The culture. Culture. Um, oh yeah, that's our theme. Culture. How wow, deep we do you smoke know? Weed. Yeah, we're all over the place. How deep do you know your French culture? Pretty well. Pretty well? Ouais, moi je parle français. Hein. Yeah. Bien. Well, right, but I'm saying like as far as like, you know, like being French or coming from the Gauls, oh, yeah. and, like yeah, they yeah. taught a lot of that when oh, you yeah. were in French. And plus just growing up with Asterix and Obelix, like what? The what? The comic Asterix? Oh, okay, okay. The comic book Asterix? I don't know that. <laughs> well, the Belgium, it's a Belgium comic book, but it's about the Gauls and and the Roman Empire and the, f- the great thing is like Cleopatra and all that. The, he he put a lot of history into that, so I was always interested. It's weed. Yeah. I was always interested in that growing up and really paid attention because it was such it was such an early childhood thing of mine to see the Gauls, to see churches, to go to the catacombs, to – I did it all right, like right. growing up. Like as a little kid, I saw – I saw – I went all over, and um, it was beautiful. And just culture shock too because I, I was really – Attentive to that stuff. Being born in Turkey, living in Jersey, living in Hong Kong, going to France, living in France, going back to Turkey, like just going to all these places, I could s- I could see the difference in culture right off the bat. The food, the culture, the people, right. the smells. Um, mm, those smells. So I was very attentive to culture. So, yeah, I understood. Ah. I was like, this is where I came from. This is the type of people we are. This is the type of people. These people, are, you know, like I'm very attentive to culture and, and things like that. That's cool, man. See, I don't know a lot about my culture, my friend. Yeah. I, 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 I as a Colombian guy, you I just don't know much. what we, what white man has told you about exactly, it. Exactly. You know, because I came here at such a young age. You know, yeah. I only know the good old red, white, and azul, <laughs> my friend, because yeah. these colors don't run, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but and that's and um, so. My so all you know about yours is like like what you saw know, in what Narcos, researched. like Narcos. No, no. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Like, I've watched all these shows, so I kind of know about it. It's kind of eh, scary. Maybe a little bit. Uh, you know, I watch The Sopranos. Well, we have, you some said it yourself. Your mom you took off from there because for schnitzels because, because it was were dangerous. Too dangerous. Yeah, because old Pablo was out there kidnapping yeah. fools. You know what and I see, mean? And see, that's the thing too. It's like I grew up. I heard. I heard a suicide bomber grow up. I was close yeah. enough to to, to to. And your and your maid was like. <gasps> Sammy, no, come I, away from the window. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I was old enough to not. Uh, to, Quickly, Sammy. I was in my early 20s. <laughs> it's like the beginning of the Anastasia animated movie when they're running away from oh. everybody. In there. <laughs> come, little Sammy, please. Quickly, before, <laughs> before they find you. And then just. You little Jew. <laughs> little Jew. Sammy, come. 
Come quickly. And I'm all, mama, 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 mama. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, but that would be nice. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, but you heard suicide bombers So what I'm saying on. is, like, and you coming from that, like, it, it's good to, it's good to realize and know that, um, you know, that it's happening. It's not just happening. Some a lot of a lot of people here in America hear it happening. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is what's going on overseas. It's always but it like, is. oh, it's a third world country. Yeah. And that's it. Then you go to your fucking supermarket and blah blah blah. But no, water there's, cooler. There, there's people who have to legitimately sometimes think like, oh, hey, I might go to the supermarket and I that might be it. Yeah, it you might know? be the last move like, I have. Oh, we're having a wedding. Oh fuck, we a gotta go wedding. to a wedding. Like, is it that's it? prime time <laughs> for a fucking suicide bombing? How well do you know your your second cousin? <laughs> yeah, like, you are, you, are you in the party? Because <laughs> I really don't think it's yeah, gonna be. Like, I don't feel good. You're, <laughs> You're right. Honey, the, yeah. I, don't really <laughs> oh, no, I ate something wrong. Ah, my so. omelet de fromage. It is. It was wrong. <laughs> they kicked it wrong. Uh, like, but I feel you. It is. It. it, it, it I guess. Yeah. It, it, all over the world, it happens. So it's kind of good. It. It's not good that it's happening. I just, I like n- having the perspective of understanding that that shit happens. For sure. You know, like uh, acid being thrown in fucking subway systems. Like, uh, f- and that it's not just happening in the Middle East. I mean, that's no. something that's happening in France. Spain, that's something happening in France, Colombia. Italy, that's something. England. Yeah. All the, like, the, yeah. It's dangerous out there. It's always dangerous out so, there. So, it's, I don't know what, what the point was, but the point is, it's well, like, I was, I was feeling, <laughs> I, 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 I like, I like being around that stuff because it gave me perspective to for for a better life to, or yeah, the life that yeah. I lead. Yeah, man, that's good. Good, you you know a lot about your culture, you know, and that's so, why I'm doing my best. Or to, you should go to Colombia. I yeah, I should. It's been a while. Yeah, you know, it's been a couple You'll of years. You fit right in. I they won't know the difference. <laughs> I'll walk in and I'll say hello. Oh, I have returned to Colombia. I am a Colombian. We ah. oui, we. Oui. <laughs> the muscle from Colombia, you know, Universal uh, Soldier. Oh, <laughs> where are your croissants, huh? Are your famous croissants? Yeah, I just saw a guy just thought. Hey, what? Colombia? <laughs> I thought this was in France. I thought this was Paris. Uh. Um, no, but yeah, so culturally, I think it's important everybody should know a little bit about their culture, but also realize that those same things that happen in one culture can happen in any culture. You, d- you don't got to be black, white, orange, or yellow yeah, uh, to have that happen to you. You know what I mean? Another thing about culture that kind of bums me out, though, is like when I see people f- take their culture. Like, oh, here's an easy example is like the Italian culture, you know, having meatheads being like, yo, bro, I'm an Italian, blah, you know, and like. And that, being like. Like taking it to an extreme. Like, hey, I'm super Italian. Like, yeah, it's uh, it's like an extreme version of their culture. It's like, uh, it's like gay people fucking being an extreme version of females. Like, sometimes you're like, girls don't act like that. It's just, you know, it's the same thing. Like in my head, I go, wait, sure. wait a second, why are you taking this to the extreme? Real Italians don't act like this. Hey, how do you know you're not from Italy? Yeah. Well, it's the same thing. Like Turks, Turks don't like Turks from other countries because they're like. They're extra Turk, like they're trying to be the extra, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Guys, we'll just be like, normal, yeah, like, yeah, stop," yeah. you know. And uh, that's where I get like, "Culture's great, but don't make it your identity." Yeah. You know, don't don't take it to the next fucking level where you're just like, "This is it, oh, bleh, I'm fucking winning." Like, this is all I am, you know. Yeah, like easy, yeah. easy, you know. All right, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a couple of people like that where I'm just like, "Bro, I just don't give a shit about you know." Can can you not? Can you think about anything else but that right now? I'd like to be a little more culturally in tune. Not only yeah. with Hispanic culture, but but well, any all the yeah. Armenian cultures and all this stuff. Like uh, I want, I wish there was a way. I'd like to develop like an intern program or like an exchange student, but it would be for people. It would be like an app mm. where you would you would be like, oh well, my family's Japanese and like we do Japanese things, and if you wanted to come over and be part of the. Japanese Christmas, come over. Like here, we got to take our shoes off here. Oh, you didn't take your shoes. <laughs> you just uh, got caught too. Yeah, well, my <laughs> culture. <laughs> right, but my. that's oh. oh. We just had man down. Is it broken? We just had a technical difficulty. One of the cameras went because Mina ran to the door. Is it broken? Uh oh. Uh yeah, 
So anyway, uh, yeah, culture. Oh yeah, Jane, I didn't take my shoes off. My bad, honey. <laughs> we were talking about culture, Hopefully. and like you're like we were just talking about culture and how it melds. And I was saying, yeah, but some culture takes too, you know, some people go too far and above the culture. This is one way where it's not too far and above. This is just a subtle cultural difference, as opposed to being like, I'm Indonesian. Uh, Indonesia, you know, you have a shirt with an Indonesian team on it, like, and you just keep talking about Indo. Yeah, it's like, it's like, oh, my fucking my my peoples and uh, you know, and I'm self conscious. My feet smell. Oh, you yeah, well, whatever. Smell but um, no, that's that's a good way. That's a nice subtle one, you know, where you're just like, oh, can you please just take your shoes off? I'm but like, if you were to come in and and the dude had. If, uh, obviously, if you weren't living in Japan, but the dude came in and everything was Japanese. Yeah, like every he single thing like is Neil katanas, like katanas on Only the thing. With chopsticks. Hey, hey, look, if if he knelt to eat and that was like how he grew up, then that's so be it. I, I just mean like, don't make that your identity. Don't go around being like, I'm super proud. Yeah, f- you know, follow your bliss, though, you know. Hey, man, if it makes you really happy, I guess. But I mean, it's to me, it's the same thing as following a team like. Your identity now is this is this basketball team, you know. So, some people some people do that with politics. It's just ha- it's just happening now, especially with politics. You know what? Oh, did that one go out too? Oh well, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. No, but it happens in in politics too, where people their whole identity is like this is my I'm left, you're right. You know, you have to pick a side. There's a lot of that going on nationalism there's a lot of nationalism going on if you could be part of another culture what culture would you be if you could if wake could up tomorrow the next one. morning and just be your your ideal your ideal culture to be in i don't know i'm pretty happy with my culture right but the question isn't who would make you happier to be it's just tomorrow if you had to wake up as a different in a different culture as a different i mean i guess that would include just being a different color being a different everything you just wake up yeah, I mean, it would be you know, it would be interesting to try try to to try different cultures. Right. Being black. Okay, but well my question. Oh, okay. Black. So, but like, would you want to be like? Would you want to grow up like on the street? Like the light skinned black with green eyes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Would you be like in Africa growing up? No. Fuck that. So you'd be like on the streets. You'd I'd be, be like a, a slave young, descendant. Yeah, you'd be like a young street hoodlum. No, that doesn't mean I have to be hoodlum. I mean, it just means like maybe grow like up like in a Massachusetts. Back. I'm like an American now for some reason or another. My great great grandfather. I think it would be take cool. Me. I think it would be cool to to be like uh, be like a mountain person from like like in the in the well, what's the mountain range? It's like by Russia, that's near to Japan. Oh, where all Genghis and all that used to. Yeah, fuck around in. there's like a wild like a bunch of weird looking brown people up there that look yeah, funky. They look I don't know why I would want to be brown again, You're but like spitting I spitting all over yourself oh now. God. I think it would be cool or like Swedish. I think it would be cool to like wake up one day and just like be in Sweden and just like know how to mm. skate and shit. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, mm. yeah, I don't know. Mm. That'd be cool. They kind of seem like they got their shit together. Like tomorrow, I'd like to wake up being Afghani. Like, I don't think I could wake up and be Indian tomorrow. No. Sorry, Keisha, but we've talked about this. No, I mean like, but like India, like where you where you you wake up and you're in a village and you're like, oh hey, yeah, we were worshiping. Like you wake up and it's, and you're just like. Ah. Fucking curry yeah. again. We're having curry for breakfast yeah, again, guys. Come like on. Like, I don't know. I mean, we get some eggs and bacon. Even Chinese sounds a little tough, you know what I mean? And now, oh, you know what, though? If I had grown up as an Aussie, as an Aussie in some Aussie culture, eating kangaroos and shit, you know what I mean? Like, I'm punching sharks. That'd be cool. I think that would be really cool. I think, I think that's fun for me because it's like there's the beach, there's the wilderness, there's city. I like that. Like, if I, I, I like the Australian culture, whatever, you know. As much culture as there is in Australia, yeah. But I mean, there's culture. It's, well, there I mean, is it's culture. Australia. It's just it, the culture is kind of like America. It's it's a newer. It's new. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's new. It's a lot newer. I mean, it's England, right? Like it's more England. Yeah, than but so are we else, like. in a way. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like we're they're just as new as us, probably. You're like fuck you, England. And then like, yeah. Like, yeah. You fuck you, England. Yeah. All of them were rapists and murderers of yeah. descendants from them. And then they made. Beautiful Australian people. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah but yeah. no, culturally, you can be proud for your culture, but don't overdo it, obviously. Uh, but find out a little bit about yourself. Learn a little bit about who you are and where you come from. Or the people that you dislike. If you dislike any kind of culture out there, if I'm just saying for people who do dislike. If, if you have a dislike in the world, figure out 
Why you what? dislike them? No, just figure them out. Figure it. Figure out. Learn a little bit more learn, about something. Yeah, like learn, okay, learn, I feel you. Took yeah. a weird turn there. That yeah, was weird. Yeah. I just mean because you're saying like do the positive, but it, it sounds selfish. Like figure yourself out. It's like nah, you've already figured yourself out. You've seen your culture growing up. You've seen your grandma talking about. Well, I guess yeah, I'm talking from a different. I think you should figure out the other cultures. I like it. Go on. I feel you. I go. That way you can take over the world. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> That's a good point. Mm. Listen to other people's or find out about other people's culture. Well, Learn that, more and about. I, and again, growing up the way I have, it's just it's helped with when someone talks to me sometimes in they're a certain way. I, I could sometimes put them in easier categories in my head of like, this is this is the type of culture mm. you grew up in. This type of person you are. Like a Rolodex. Yeah, I'm just like, oh yeah, you know, this is how you you talk to the la- you 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 Persians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not so very nice to the ladies. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Hawaiians. Kinda, kinda, oh yeah, you, you like spam? Spam. <laughs> no, high five, spam, bro. Hawaiians. Let me guess. If you're a girl, you got one of those Hawaiian flowers on your shoulder blade, or a fucking you got a tribal sea turtle on your ankle. I think growing up on a farm with horses would have been dope. You'd have woken cool. up a lot, you know, at five in the morning to do all your business, but you'd have horses and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you'd be comfortable with killing things. Yeah, you're out in a wall. And I like the solitary. Have you ever, you've, well, you've been out in the forest by yourself. Oh, I've been was, in the woods, my friend. Yeah, where you're by yourself and, like, you're on a horse or you're on a quad oh, or I've something. I've heard the beasts out in the night. I've, let me tell you a spooky story. Hit me with a spooky story, B. And I'll, and I'll, Im- I'll imbue to you. What my culture has dubbed La Chupacabra and the time I met them in the world. All right, well, we got an ad first from... Well, um, that's okay, because guess what? What? We, ha- we have an ad, too. Oh. For sure Happening. called Happy News. Oh, I thought it was going to be like, Happy Right Now. Oh. Oh. Uh, Cause no, I it. just you do... You can't edit it in here? No, I can. We already did one in the middle. Oh, can oh, we do another one? Right, right now? All right, and then uh, <laughs> and we're back, and we're back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of what right, you heard. Well, here's some spooky music for your ass. Well, uh, yep, that's the end of our culture segment. Uh, remember to learn about other people's cultures, and then learn about your own culture, and then just remember we're all gonna die. Anyway, yeah, it doesn't matter, man. We're all slowly dying right now. Yeah, it's funny how we try not to die every day, yet we're gonna die one day. Well, the fact that you wake up every day and don't die, and then, you know what I mean? Like you can just, you can just die in your sleep. You yeah, know? that type of shit happens. We're perpetually all right now getting like achier and yeah, things slowly. Sucks. Yeah, like it takes a little longer to cure a hangover. Takes, well, I mean, just yeah, you I mean, know, it just did takes. Did you forget your keys a fourth time today? What's wrong with your brain? We you smoke a lot too. I just mean that, you know, just in general. There in the woods. Creeped a young little man alone below the full moon. A creak and a crack goes the branch in his hand as he walks. The flap of his wings as he stared at the sky, the owl that flew by and looked at him, saying, Who? 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 But the man persists. He walks down a well trodden path, hoping that he leaves only the imprint of his soul as he moves below the starless sky. But alas, he gets there, once again the familiar home from where his dark terrors arise. <laughs> With a crash, he throws down his belongings, his personal mind, and his onset. This is it. Oh, his mind is set once more towards the impending, overhanging mention of his dire eternal soul. <laughs> Is this? He thought he was alone. He's not. He's standing there, lit by the full moon, praised and graced by God. And he wept. <laughs> because in the end, he was the chupacabra the whole time. And he'll always be lost, treading through that forest, going past that same elm, seeing that same moonlight. Up above the canopy, walking with his belongings, the chupacabra always searching. <laughs> Damn, that was actually pretty good. Hey, man, the chupacabra is a deadly tale, bro. I know. A lot of people don't realize that. They get crazy. They go out and then they think they see the chupacabra, but Th- that's chupacabra. that's the Wendigo. The whole the what? The Wendigo. 
the no, the, the Indian the, one? The Wendigo. So it's 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 essentially it's kind of it's the Native American version of uh, the Skinwalker. Is that what you're talking about? The Wendigo is so, who is someone who becomes a Sasquatch. He becomes the Sasquatch. And is it, it cursed? And yeah, he's, it's a curse. And, it, and what happens is it. I think it, it usually has to do when you eat someone. When you've been out in the wilderness for so long, you Ooh, have to eat somebody. Shit. You become the Wendigo. But it's also, I heard the diff- it was also an X-Men. Like he w- the Wendigo was one of the, uh, I think, one of the people Wolverine kept fighting. Hulk and Wendigo when he first appeared. But, um, yeah, Wendigo's a curse. You hear him in the in the, in the like it's when you get lost in the snow and it's like yeah, super like snow washed, whitewashed, and like you start going crazy out in the wilderness, yeah. you start hearing him. Like Wendigo. Snow what? Like, yeah. That's wild. Yeah. I didn't know about that. That's yeah. pretty cool. I'd watch a movie where a kid went to a hamburger stand and he ate a hamburger mm. and then like the guy was like, No, you are the Wendigo. Oh, and, like shit. he disappears and it turns out it's a people burger. Oh no. And he becomes a Wendigo every time. Nice. But yep, that's our cultural segment. You got a we got a little play in there. That was nice. We did a little you did a little foley work. That was mm. really good. I, I I like when you do foley work. Yeah, it background. was almost like uh, like a radio thing. Hey bro, <laughs> that's where we're here. Back in our day we used to do that. Remember back back in episode seven? Ah, uh, oh man, the memories. Uh, I'm not putting. Up there. Ooh, the and memories. children, you know what time it is. The Wookie Spookies for Game Corner. Ooh. All right, let's get into Game Corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Game Corner, Game Corner. Uh, uh, uh. How long are we doing this? Okay, we're right on the precipice. Okay, because I gotta get. Minutes, I gotta get ready. We gotta get ready minutes. to finish the shit. Yeah, I gotta do all this. All right, so uh, uh, today's game corner is brought to you by your mom, the letter mom. That's right, the letter mom. You can't spell monument without mom. <laughs> Wait, what? You can't monument. Spell, you can't spell home without Sherlock. Mom, <laughs> Sherlock. All right, so today's game corner. It's going to be a classic. We're doing a classic? Oh, man. I hope you're ready for this. Monopoly? I hope you're ready for this. It's just another three hours of us playing Monopoly. And like they get <laughs> you're just silently sitting here. Like, God damn the, it dice, the dice rolling in the background. She's <laughs> like, okay. So, all right. So then I'll give you 400 for <laughs> just not even being loud about it. Just being really quiet. Okay. So I'll go mm. for park view. It's like, damn it. I need my calculator out again. Oh, it looks like I landed on your hotel. Here, give me good. <laughs> okay, here you go. Thank you. Oh, I'll take the 20 back. That's all right. Well, actually, if I could get two tens. <laughs> <laughs> um, the most enthralling. Done. Uh, wait, I was. I just thought of someone. Sorry, I just thought of something no, else. Completely, good. What, completely what, what, what was it? No, it was a funny thing. It was a podcast, I believe. Someone had an idea, and I'm trying to remember who it was, that had an idea for D&D, Dungeons and Dads. And it was because they every dad archetype is the same as a Dungeons and Dragons archetype. Like the dad who's barely around, he's a rogue. Like the dad who's like kind of like the the classic rock dad, he's like or a like bard. Like a cleric or like yeah. a bard. Yeah, and then like so like like it was funny. So then you would find the dads who And and I think it, it yeah. it's those FX guys. It's one of their friends from back in the day that's oh that's yeah? doing it and um, That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was funny and he was talking about the archetypes of dads and like that's a mage. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. does this would be a mage and finding like the parallels to And them, then yeah. they, it's basically dungeons and dads and it's about they go into this world and they have to like get through this world and pretty cool. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Dungeons and Dragons. That's why I've been trying to Should do we a, a is game. there a Dungeons and Dragons podcast anyway? Yeah, dude, there's like a thousand. Yeah, it's got to be. They're like, really good. They're good? <laughs> yeah, they're good. But you know, a lot But there's got to be someone there professionally doing sound effects though. No. Well, uh, it would be cool. Like fully work, like editing work, like Yeah, like yeah, you would like, have to have, like, would have, a to have the music. You're doing like yeah. a live, like yeah. They maybe I don't know. I don't or you could add that pr- post. That's what I'm saying. So you got like, to listen to it. Have somebody. Then. That's true ching, editing ching, work. Ching. Yeah, yeah to actually do that. No. No. <laughs> no. That's a lot. Plus, then who's gonna? Yeah, no. Then I'd have to. No, that's a lot. No more work. I but what other games are like that where you can 
listen to people have fun. Well, there's like a lot of like um, RPG role game, like tabletop games. Like uh, yeah, there's like a there's like a Monster Hunter version where you can all be different versions of Monster Hunters, and we can roll dice and we can tell a story. But again, you'd, you it would be it would have to be more than just you and me yeah and yeah, yeah, like yeah third person to do that. Uh, but okay, we're burning through game corner time. All right, it's a real quick game of describe it badly. Yes, that's right. Describe it badly. Fan favorite out in Germany. It's where we take a second and we describe a famous movie scene, or I mean, pardon me, a movie title, uh, and so badly that the other person couldn't possibly try and, and guess it. Uh, as always, you guys know that we are tied one and one overall, score-wise, for best uh, ever at this game. So today will be the tiebreaker. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to tell you, this would be a good one, and I hope you're ready. Because this man has to get home. Oh, uh, you started? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay. okay. Here we go. This man has to get home, but he catches a virus. Oh, I was like falling down? <laughs> yeah. This man has to get home, but he catches a virus and ends up at the casino. Ooh, that was good. Bro. I just catches heard, Can you turn that up a little bit? Just a little bit? Say catches again. a virus? Here we go. All right. Yeah. A man has to get home, but he catches a virus on his flight and ends up at a World casino. World War Z? No, he doesn't go to a casino. Oh, Con Air. Ah, <laughs> yes! Hey, Rob, there's a precision. But you know what it was? If, if I had The virus said, got me. Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay, because I was going to say if it hadn't been, uh, I thought the flying thing gave it away. No, 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 no. It was the virus because I was virus? Cyrus the virus. And then the casino. Yeah. yeah. Okay, your turn. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, California. Cali Secret California. Secret California cops. Help. Model. Secret California cops help model. California secret cops. I'm gonna have to use. Uh, my I guess I, oh. it, it just the rephrase the, it. There's two words that make it sound completely different. So, secret California. Secret California police. No, secret California police help. Oh. A model. So there's a secret California. You know what? I'm going to need to use my question from Question Master. Question Master uh, here. Uh, good to hear you again. How question may I master. help you? Look, I need to know who the main actor is in this movie. Question Master. And for your answer, I will give you my firstborn child. Do you want the protagonist or the antagonist? Let's go protagonist, my friend. I feel stupid. I should ask for the year. Well, should I just say what the first name is on IMDb? Because there's kind of two guys. Sure. Guy Pierce. Bitch. Secret California. Please help a model with Guy Pierce in it. I'm going to say Lockdown. What was it? LA Confidential. Oh, damn. Ah, yeah. Okay. That was good. That was like California Secret. Like you LA Confidential. really described that badly. <laughs> you <laughs> suck at <laughs> well, it. <laughs> You're so good, dude, but you suck. No, that's good. That was a good one. Okay. Um. All right. So, man. Man pretends to be. Oh, no. That's too easy for me to say it that way. Okay. All right, here we go. Ah, okay, I got you. I got you, homie. A man turns his big problems into small problems. Man turns his big problems into small problems? Big? No. Man turns his big problems. Honey, Honey I shrunk, shrunk the, the kids, kids. yeah. <laughs> but no, they, yeah. But he didn't shrink them. It was an accident. 
Yeah, but I mean, the big problem was the kids. Yeah, that's why I was thinking of someone actually doing something. No, I feel you, but okay. you're wrong. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> honey, I shrunk the kids. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. You go. Don't try and change my. No, don't try and convince me. I'm just, I'm just, a, you know, Jedi mind trick me. <laughs> no, well, yeah. Brian. Brian. I, I know. You yeah, big, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was big. Um. Yeah. All right. Hit me with one. Um. Uh, then I'll do one, and then we'll end it on that one. Because it is getting late. Someday in Los Angeles. Sunday. Someday. Someday in Los Angeles. Someday in Los Angeles. What? Yeah. Uh, shit. Question master? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, because that's not. That's so abstract. You can't. You can't just hey hey that's the rules that you're describing you're so bad at this. <laughs> yeah, question master, hit me with the year. No, fuck that. No, I would need the main actor on this one. If all you're giving DiCaprio. me is someday in Los Angeles. Someday in Los Angeles with DiCaprio. I'm gonna go with Once Upon a Time. Yeah, yeah, I know you hit me, hit me with the tosser. All right, here we go. I'm gonna end it on this one. All right, I got this. Back to the present. <laughs> you're never. I'm gotta switch it up now because. Because you were about I, to say no, back no, to the no, future. No, no, no. In my mind, the movie that I was singing of was had Christopher Lloyd in it, <laughs> and I and I was saying in my head, "Back to the future," as you said, "Back to." But the But as moment. you were thinking, Roger Rabbit. No, Angels uh, in the Outfield. Oh, ugh. I was gonna try and get oh, it. Oh, that's that an way. Old, you're you really deep and deep on that one. I was going for it. Okay, Metal Man befriends boy. The Iron Giant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, I was thinking. I was. I thought it was Steel, but in Steel, Shaq doesn't befriend a boy. He befriends a boy in Shazam. In Steel, he just he that movie never happened. <laughs> what <laughs> Steel? In Shazam. Oh, did you ever see Steel though? <laughs> yeah. But you remember what movie was that? Was it Shazam? It's Shazam and Kazam. They say, well, the, there's supposedly a version where Simbad is the. Um, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I, I remember know, that. Steam, All right, well there you go. Uh, a delicious game corner for you guys as you're driving, or you're running on a treadmill right now, or you're or you're rocking your newborn child to sleep, or. Or you're hiding in a tree for your mailman to come by because you know he's taking your mail and he probably has your deposit check. Hit me with some outro music, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you so much for making it all the way here. Uh, if you're rocking with this still, we can't thank you enough. Please make sure to go and comment, download, and uh. let us know that you're there alive and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. That's yeah, binge. We need to know you're alive. On this. And, uh, yeah, final thoughts? Nothing, man. I got, I got... Got diddly squat. Diddly squat. Yeah. I, um, I'm thinking about this script thing I gotta do tonight, so... Yep. Got a lot of stuff we gotta get into. Uh, I'm gonna go do some editing for you guys. Remember to keep an eye out for Happy News with Perry Kurtz. Sponsored to you by Leafly. A delicious show where 30 minutes a day you get to listen to comedic legend Perry Kurtz talk to friends, infamous and both famous, who's going to brighten up his day a little bit, and hopefully brighten your day up as well. Also, keep an eye out for Sam of All Tees. <laughs> Working title right now, but we do Sam have some of that Tees? developing through. Well, because we don't know if it's trailers or trade or what you want to do yet. I don't know. The trailers, I mean, if we're doing the trailers, I mean, who knows? Who knows? Hey, but don't, it, are daily trades, isn't that like your daily, you're supposed to, uh, that's like, never mind, we'll talk All about right. it. And then uh, uh, also keep an eye out for What's Hood with FC, politically driven show that has that's so politically incorrect. Bit of <laughs> I know, right? Yet so yeah, very nice. A political show that's so politically incorrect. God. Like that. And what's uh, hood? And yeah, what's hood? He said, he said, hey man, yeah, I'm down, but we gotta call it What's Hood with <laughs> FC. What's Hood? Around 7.15, 7.30, <laughs> sometimes 7.45, but what's My hood? man. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and for me, guys, a shout-out to our number ones and our new fans. Thank you so much for listening to us. Uh, love each other. Stay safe. And you're in the Dream of Thousand Dreams. Geronimo!